Hi folks, Noel here from Noel Murphy Wood Products. Um, as is my wand, I seem to be starting my recent videos with the finished product. The finished product is a piece of beech which has been heavily textured and ebonized to give a completely different look to the, to the pieces that I've been doing recently. Um, what I am doing by doing this is to entice you to come and look at the rest of the video. The video is the how to take it from a slab of wood to something that is absolutely gorgeous. At night this is beautiful because the candle shows through the holes that I've made in the piece. I'll show you how I did all that as well. Painstaking but well worth it in the end. I hope you'll stay with me and enjoy the rest of the video. Talk to you soon. If you can imagine the picture in front of you is one big huge slab piece of wood. It's beech and I have put it on the bandsaw and I shaped out the horseshoe that you now see in front of you. The horseshoe went on to be used in another uh, project that I had, which is the beautiful sculpture there. And the second one that I cut out from the inside of that is the feature that we're going to be making today. If you look very closely, you will see that there's lines drawn and that will give me a third piece. So there's no waste here. I'm going to use all of them. Well, if you stayed with my ramblings this far, you might as well stay to the end because I'm nearly finished. You'll see here now I've just put it on the bandsaw to cut out the centerpiece so that we can move over to the drill press and start putting holes on the side piece of it. That is going to be quite interesting. The final segment. I'm now onto the drill press and in this set, we're going to put in a lot, a lot of holes on both sides. That's four different Forstner bits being changed in and out to give me all different size holes the whole way through it. It would look really boring if I had just the same size holes the whole way through. So I've decided to create variety through the whole piece, large and small and medium. The next set you will see will be me down to a kind of 10 mil piece where it's giving lovely little small holes where the light comes through, gorgeous comes through. So that seems to be the end of that. But the pretty part then starts to appear on the horizon where the finished product looks absolutely lovely, really lovely. These are daytime shots and nighttime shots and the contrast of them in all shapes and sizes is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this journey started out with one slab of wood, a piece of beach, and the three of those sculptures actually came out of that. I showed you through this set that the bottom two ones are the ones that I was working on today but all three of them came out of one piece of wood. No waste. Thanks for your time.